Hello, I'm Harry Wepkenberg speaking to you today from Richards Industries in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm standing next to the flow bench we use for product demonstration at trade shows and occasionally on-site training. Our flow bench features four of the six brands we manufacture here. Marwin Specialty Ball Valves, Hex Valves, Low Flow Regulators, and Control Valves, and our flagship product line, Jordan Valve Industrial Control Valves, and Regulators. Today, we will focus on our Jordan Valve products. The flow bench highlights three of our sliding gate products, the Mark 75 wafer style control valve, Mark 50 back pressure regulator, and the Mark 60 pressure reducing valve. Even though the operation is different in each, all three valves utilize the unique Jordan valve sliding gate seat. The Mark 75 wafer style control valve can be used to control pressure, temperature, level, or flow. In this piping configuration, it is controlling flow. The short stroke of the sliding gate seat, coupled with a short face-to-face -face wafer style body, combined to make a compact, robust package designed to provide high flows, accurate control, and years of reliable service. Let's take a look at the operation of the Mark 75. It is currently 50% open, flowing a little more than 6.6 .6 gallons per minute. What happens if we open the valve to give it more flow? If we change the milliamp signal to 14, the valve is now flowing about 10 gallons per minute. Let's close the valve and see what happens. It creates a back pressure. The media is now moving up through the piping and moving through our automated Marwin ball valve. This takes us to the next valve we'll discuss, the Mark 50 back pressure regulating valve. Like the Mark 75, the Mark 50 also employs Jordan's sliding gate seat technology. The Mark 50 is a self-operated back pressure regulating valve. The range spring holds the seat in the closed position when the upstream pressure reaches the valve set point, in this case 10 PSIG, the pressure under the diaphragm will compress the spring, opening the valve and relieving the pressure. The valve will modulate to maintain the pressure at 10 PSI. When the upstream pressure falls below the set point, the Mark 50 will return to the closed position. Finally, let's look at the Mark 60 pressure reducing valve. This valve is designed to regulate downstream pressure, or P2, to a desired set point. Like the Mark 50, we have the Mark 60 set point at 10 PSI. The Mark 60 is normally in the open position, held open by the range spring. When the downstream pressure reaches the set point, the pressure under the diaphragm compresses the spring and moves the seat toward the closed position. When the pressure drops below the set point, the valve moves toward the open position. So that's a quick overview of a few of our Jordan valve sliding gate products. For additional information on any other Jordan products, please contact your Jordan regional sales manager or your client consultant.